Now recently on the Crypto Alert channel, we've had some great plays for when it comes to low cap meme coins, low cap coins and gems in general. And today we're going through another one, which is fair launching right now on Pink Sale that goes by the name of Pulse DAO. It is not... Um, this is not sponsored at all it's simply a project that i've come across and that i believe has a lot of potential it is launching in the next 10 11 hours so if you guys are watching this video early you guys will have the chance to get involved in the fair launch if not you will be able to gain early into the public sale but again please remember that nothing is ever financial advice please do your own research. I personally wouldn't listen to a YouTuber or any influencer talking about a crypto coin. I would use it as a point of discovery and then do my own research additionally. But with that being said, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and also I'll be telling you about my personal strategy for when it comes to investing in tokens in pink sale, in pre-sales and fair launches. And it is, I would like to say, a profitable strategy because I've been doing it for a while and it works. And I'll be doing it, hopefully, in the post I fair launch unless I fall asleep during launch, right? But with that being said, hopefully you guys do enjoy this video and let's get straight into it. Right guys, starting off with the actual pink sale page, you can actually see there's a video here which we are gonna go through. It is a video directly from the founder and CEO. So that builds a lot of trust and transparency, but it reads, Post DAO, the interchain incubator and DeFi powerhouse, revolutionizing the future. You know, kind of the usual words. I don't really like to read off that, to be honest, but seamlessly is bridging L1 and L2 blockchains. Remember, guys, when it comes to pre sale and fair launches, we're not exactly investing into the product, investing into the promise and potential, right? That's all it is. A cutting edge platform offers staking, bridging, farming, and future post chain integration, which, of course, is a big deal. Post chain has been a massive talking point in these last couple months. Top to security with Safu and KYC audited and completely doxxed. And they have got all these badges on pink sale which is why i feel like these guys are obviously trending really up like a lot the second trending right now they've got all their badges the sale is currently live over 43 ethereum raised from what was an eight ethereum hard cap which is obviously incredible a fast track listing on coin market cap coin gecko and central exchanges as well the centralized exchanges will also be listing post DAO and they'll also have zero transaction fees which is obviously really cool especially with the fact it is on ethereum gas fees are also really low right now which is a big big point which you know it does play into my strategy which i'll be sharing later on in this video unleash the power of post DAO, transforming decentralized finance and interchain innovation Coming down to the tokenomics that they have listed on Pink Sale, these are not always accurate. They can change after launch depending on how much they raise, right? But at the moment, total supply is 50 million post DAO. Tokens for pre sale is going to be over 12 million. Tokens for liquidity, it is boy, at 7 billion. That's 12 billion, 7 billion boys. I can't even read that, I'm not gonna lie. But our initial market cap is 100K, so it is got what we're looking for a low market cap. Um, the liquidity percentage is 60%. Now, what I've personally realized is we do see dumps at the start. So I'd be comp like with projects like these with over 100K market cap, we end up seeing dumps. I don't know why people dump. Maybe they have private investors before they even raise the 43, I mean the 80 Ethereum they're looking for. And I feel like they dump initially. So I'd be careful on if you're going to get in early, right? There's usually a dump, it recovers and then it takes off. Personally, I'm gonna I'm not gonna be buying directly through Pink Sale. However, I am gonna be buying after it does launch. Now there is an affiliate program which I'm not even gonna um, you know entertain at this point because there isn't long left until the project launches. However, I do think this project does have a lot of potential. The only reason I'm not even using an affiliate program for you guys because I don't see the point. You can, if you want to buy it, go directly on the Pink Sale. You can just buy it yourself, connect your wallet, and buy however Ethereum amount you want. But I would say me personally, I am going to be looking at the fair launch. However, I'll be looking also after launch because I feel like there's going to be dips where I can just jump in and just buy the dip and just get it for cheaper and make some easy gains, right? But now, with that being said, you can see that 25% will be in pre-sale. There's going to be 14% of the supply going to the liquidity, 20% on the ecosystem, 17% on marketing and partnerships, Staking rewards will get 17% and centralized exchange listings, there'll be 6% reserved for that. 
now with that being said on the twitter at the moment they got over 3,000 followers they have been getting quite a decent traction which is always nice to see now this is actually the founder who's been completely transparent which again i feel like is a really big deal right but this is the ceo speaking um, i'm just gonna play a video right here hello i'm the ceo of pulse dow I just wanted to make a quick update video here for everyone. Um, it's been a really long, hectic day, obviously. I've essentially had back-to-back -back meetings with investors, exchanges. Um, our team's been working around the clock, but things are looking really great and really promising. Um, so there's a lot of exciting news to announce once everything's finalized. But I just wanted to say thank you to everyone who has decided to participate in the pre-sale thus far. Um, that's also looking great. Um, but yeah, we have a ton of exciting things coming down the pipeline here. So just wanted to hop on quickly, say thank you and stay tuned. Hello. Yeah, guys, I know that there isn't much to take away from this video other than the fact the team is being completely transparent, which is always nice to see, especially on pink sale fail launches and pre-sales. Usually they are not docs. They are barely KYC verified. So this is pretty refreshing to see, right? Now going straight to the website, post out Ethereum is empowering interchain innovation and DeFi excellence. Post out Eve is an interchain incubator and DeFi powerhouse, serving as a decentralized community platform, bridging the gap between prominent L1 and L2 blockchains. Now again, the promise here, they're building what seems like a bridge for L1 and L2 blockchains, which is a massive deal. And 100K market cap is definitely undervalued. However, this is just promises. We have not seen the product as of yet, which is why I feel like the 100K mod cap is not quite accurate, which is why I feel like this has potential, right? But at the same time, remember, it's just a promise. We hit promises all the time in the crypto world. And really, it really starts to take off once we see the actual product. Now, our mission is to foster collaboration and innovation across different blockchain ecosystems like Ethereum, the Binance Smart Chain, Arbitrum Network, and so on. Now, coming all the way down here embracing the interoperability for a thriving future so really they're using all the buzzwords we want to hear and i do feel like they are doing a great job with explaining on what they're building they are also going to be having three different platforms right they'll be having a launch pad a staking and farming um platform a swap and swap bridge within the pulse dial ethereum chain so they're going to be having three different platforms and the launch pad it, it does interest me from what i've seen during this bear market the most profitable crypto companies other than the usual decentralized and centralized exchanges are launch pads uh platforms that are launch padding tokens and obviously taking high fees like pink seal right now is absolutely killing it like these guys are printing right now i'm telling you they charge a lot of money for a lot of these projects they take a lot of fees and so on and these guys are printing at the moment which is why i feel like launch pads right now if you're going to be investing into projects launch pads are one of the ways to go that's my personal opinion a lot of people talk about real world utility i look at utility that's happening within the crypto space alongside real life utility right but coming down here we got the tokenomics which we already went through total supply of 50 million tokens here we got the roadmap again i'm not usually a big fan of just going through the roadmap i like to live at the moment it's definitely nice to see what they're going to be working on but a lot of the times they don't even pull off the things right so you gotta look at the moment because I am a short-term investor for when it comes to pink sale projects. I'm going to have to be deadly honest with you. I'm not here for the long term. These projects have a good chance they will dump, especially with all the early pre-sale investors, right? In this case, it's a fair launch, but even then, I like to be on the safe side and I like to get my money out ASAP, right? But yeah, that does bring us to the end of this video. Now, my strategy, actually, before we end the video, I promise you I'll be telling you about my strategy. And my strategy is pretty simple. Let's just find a random token, FTC. Right, completely random token i found here um this is a scam token do not buy this shit. please don't uh let's go down uh, 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 let's go with star is this okay this is an actual token from the looks of it which has been absolutely destroyed let's go on the day chart god oh that, to be fair it's not that bad of a chart let's be honest not that bad okay so my strategy literally is guys once the project does a 2x so literally once the project does a 2x once i can sell and get my initial out so let's say i buy in with a hundred dollars hundred dollars is on a 100k market cap it goes to a 200k market cap i simply sell my initial and leave the rest to write that can either do a 2x can either do a 3x projects can do 20x's 30x's 40x's and then i drag it out but in that case you know your initial hundred dollars is safe 
in ethereum it's slightly harder because the gas fees but right now the gas fees are not that high well for me they aren't right the gas fees are about about ten dollars right it's the average ethereum gas prices that's kind of what you're paying depending on the token as well right depending on the contract but yes on ethereum tokens you might want it to you know get a hundred fifty percent increase before you sell your initial and then you've got about a hundred dollars riding in there just literally house money right that's my strategy does it work yes it does especially if you're calculated on what projects you are buying you're not just buying every other scam coin posted on telegram you have to be pretty calculated on what you're buying and again that's not financial advice please please find your own strategy that is my personal strategy on what i do right that brings us to the end of the video guys please take care of yourself and peace